coming in as well. guys welcome back to part two of the conveyor build but the first we uh, show you what i've done i think it's time for a brew put it there i hope everyone's doing well i'd like some water please sir. um yeah so actually no tea bags first of course he has water first you've got to put tea first there we go right a couple of tea bags coming up so we make a lovely brew there we go one in the pot lovely jubbly uh, a bit of water please, thank you very much. But yeah, I hope you're all doing safe and I hope you've got a brew on as well. And I hope you can hear me over this. Oh, I do. Oh, lovely. Bit of milk please. But I don't need that one. Um, yeah, two pumps of milk. Lovely. <laughs> I oh yeah. That's fine, now a couple of biscuits as well, and then we are reckon we've made the perfect brew. But yeah, we've built this, the second part, cleaned it all up. Um, because, oh yeah, a couple of biscuits, wonderful. That's perfect. Bit more milk, please. Cut the Hey, there we go. Bit of milk. <laughs> well, that's the perfect brew. Let's get on to it. Let's show you around it. Cheers. Right, so we're at the belly of the about. So this is the hopper, this is where all the dirt goes on. I can actually take that off so if I never need to do any repairs, I can get to it. This is one of the pulleys down the bottom, one of the barrels. And then obviously that skirt that I was on about goes here. So any dirt that comes back goes down that way so it doesn't go in the return side of the belt, if that makes sense. So yeah, there's the hopper part of it. I'm going to change up at some point so you could actually get a bar into it. Um, as you come up, the belt comes up. I've got these little ridges here that just give the, because it's going uphill with the dirt, I just want to uh, give it a bit of stability so the dirt doesn't roll back, so it goes up and out the top. So that's really cool. Um, I've had to screw it down at the back end for now because I'm, I'm going to make some sort of way where I can kind of just alter, alter the height of it, depending on where I want to put it, or, you know, but as it is now, that goes that's it, it's cool still there. So yeah, I'm pleased with it, done a little bit of paint job on it. Thicker the paint the better. It peels up all those dodgy cuts that I've done. <laughs> but like I was saying in the first one, you know, I just build it a bit rough to start with and then if it like works, then we'll finesse it and make it look a little bit better. But yeah, it's doing all right. It's, it's working, we've had it on full tilt, so it's good. If I get you to come around this side, I'll show you the dry side of it. So obviously, if Makita are watching this, this is one of your 18 volt 3 amp drills with uh, replacement batteries on the top so you can get to that nicely. So that powers it, so it comes through here. We've got a, a drive here that goes onto this sprocket, which comes up to the main drive here. My good friend Jeff said to me, because he builds conveyor belts, he said put the drive at the top. So as the belt's going up is pulling the belt instead of the drivers at the bottom it would be pushing the belt so it's a lot less resistance that way so that's cool so that's why the drill's at this end if you're wondering right with that being said paintwork we've got these oh yeah these are these little things there so so you've had a few test runs on it it's got a bit of dirt in it but that's right these things here centralize the belt so as it goes through the pulley it centralizes it and keeps it on the rails so that's what they're for and I've actually if we go underneath I've got if you can see that I've got some here as well so that keeps that pulley in line and it goes down to this other one here so that one in line so I've used them as like a tensioner belt I know I, when I first started I said I was going to make it so it was adjustable but I kind of figured it out to a good tension so I just thought oh, I'll just leave it you know I don't think belt it's going to stretch too much over time and even if it does we'll just repair it so yeah with that being said if we go right down here underneath if you can get that camera under what i've done i've put this brush underneath so what it does any dirt that does manage to come back you can just brush it off the side see i've put these on like a 45 degree angle so it pushes the dirt off so then hopefully when the belt comes back around to this bottom side 
nothing, it's all like a clean belt here, so it, then it travels up nicely and it's not going to get locked up. Because in my um, proving time of it, shall we say, I was getting a couple of rocks coming back through and it was jamming up, it was jamming up the drill and it was getting stuck. To be fair, it's not a bad thing if the belt does slip on these. Because, you know, it won't tear the belt then, it will just, these will just spin. So I don't want this to be kind of, you know, almost glued on, shall we say. So yeah, pleased with it. Really cool. I've never built anything like this before and it is proper country. There's rough cuts, there's scrap metal in it, there's rubber. There's some unpolished bits, so, you know, if someone like Colin Furs is watching, he'll be creasing about this. But anyway, if he made one of these, it'd be unbelievable. So, but anyway, it's pretty good. It works. That's the whole thing about it. It works. It does the job. So, you know, I think in the future, if I was to build another one, I'd make it out of metal, with bearings in, proper slick job, get a belt and not use inner tubes that's made from 12 inner tubes if you've not seen well if you've just stumbled across this if you go back to my profile you can see the build side of it of how i built this from junk basically right so i've got some biscuits i've got a battery so we're going to put the battery on at the drill end um we've got the pups let's convey some biscuits all right let's do it all right let's uh, have a little spin Welcome to the conveyor sleigh. Obviously the dog, uh, the dog conveying biscuit thing did not go to plan. They were just following, following me with the box. So anyway, let's get some dirt and we're going to use it. And I'm going to talk you through it a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit. Uh, and we'll probably cut to some dream shots, get some sound over the top and you guys can see how it all works. So we'll let's get it on! something is you find out it's weak points and then you can repair it and it's stronger for the next time so that's how I need to think of it. Some more actually, that was funny. 
Right, we broke it, so that's a positive, somehow. Anyway, we've got to fix something up in here in the drive part. I don't know, the sprocket's broke there. So, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to get the shake and bake involved. I'm going to combine them together a bit like transformers, maybe. Make some big colossal mess. But yeah, we're going to put conveyor slayer, shake and bake together. So we're going to put dirt up into this that dirt out there but also as well I think we can come up with some sort of variations of it but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves let me know what in the comments let me know in the comments what you want to build next maybe we could build a different type of one of these maybe we could build something different type of that or maybe we can build something completely different I don't know but let me know in the comments press that button and that button you know which ones they are they're down here somewhere and I hope you have a good day and we'll see you soon